Hey everybody, welcome to the treasure chest opening video. I'm Kano. Uh, we decided to open 66 treasure chests on MTGO because we had 100 followers on Twitch. I promised I would open all of the treasure chests we had um, from leagues that we had won during that time up until that point. We're going to do some quick math before we start just to see if it was financially worth it to open these chests versus sell them. So, on MTGO, chests are tradable and therefore have value. Assuming you were to buy a chest from a bot, it would cost 2.6 tickets, but it would be only worth 1.99 tickets to sell. Since we have 66 chests, and we won them and didn't buy them, the number we have to beat for open value is 131.34 tickets. For the sake of this video, one ticket's also worth about 10 play points. The play points are generally a little bit less worth it because they're not tradable. So without further ado, let's begin. Treasure chest opening time. We have 66 treasure chests to open. Everybody ready? All right. Treasure chest number one. A scrubland. Perforos. And Nath of the Gilt Leaf. Chest number three. Silence. I don't think silence is worth anything, unfortunately. Might be worth like a ticket. Lightning coils. There's a janky Mirrodin artifact. Needle Spectre and Dark Blade Agent. Number five. Slag Storm. Fatal Frenzy. Double rare. Unfortunately, not great. Commune with Lava. The Red Sphinx's Revelation. Mm -hmm. He Who Hungers. Mm -hmm. And Brawl Bash Ogre. Another double rare. Unfortunately, not worth it. Ooh, Flooded Strand. Promo. Promo Flooded Strand out of the treasure chest. That's got to be worth something. Next chest. We get a Reiterate Goblin Electromancer and a Radical Idea. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Liliana, Untouched by Death. Unfortunately, I don't think that Mythic is worth anything. It looks too pretty to sell. I know, right? 40 play points. That's good news. That's approximately four tickets worth. Temporal Adept. <laughs> That's jank. Boomerang on a stick. Abnormal Endurance and a Plummet. Crop rotation. Promo crop rotation worth anything? 54 cents. Darn. Next chest. 10 play points. That's not great. But I like it over commons. Doran, the Siege Tower. Maybe we'll build Tree Folk Tribal. Ooh, 80 play points. That's good. Good, good high quantity of play points there. Next chest. Leyline of the Void. Leyline is definitely worth something. Next chest. Gilded Lotus. Other War Underworld Dreams. Don't think they're worth anything, but they are good cards. Next chest. 20 play points. Commons. Next chest. Grove of the Guardian. That's one of the first cards I ever saw in Magic because I joined on right at about Return to Ravnica, late um, Avacyn Restored. Next chest. Faded Return and a Tropical Island. Okay. Next chest. 20 play points. Next chest. Burn at the Stake. Glimpse the Unthinkable. And Academy Journey Mage. Next chest. 20 play points. Ooh, Stunning Reversal. I had an idea for a fun combo deck using this card uh, where you ad nauseum your whole deck except for the last seven cards. So you go back to one and draw seven cards. Uh, so you draw your whole deck uh, effectively in mono black for uh, nine mana at instant speed. Could be good in EDH or something. Uh, next chest. 
Natural order. Don't think it's worth anything, though. Next chest. We got a sea of clouds and a midnight ritual. Double rare. Fortunately, I don't think the battle bond duels are worth much on Moto. Basically just legacy tap lands. Next chest. We've gotten an Ashes of the Fallen. That could be fun. Fun combo potential there. Regna's Sanction. And a Utopia Tree. Triple rare. Woo! Next chest. Firemines Research Promo. That looks awesome. That is really dope looking. Mm -hmm. A lion's eye diamond. I know this was worth a ton at one point. Oh, it hasn't been worth anything since the vintage masters release, but it is two tickets. All right, next chest. Spectral force. Some jank five mana eight eight common and common. Next chest. We are way behind on our value here. Four already play points and a Sylvia Bright Spear. Next chest, we get a Bloodstained Mire. Next chest, Champion of Dusk, Under the Floorboards, and a Gargoyle. Next chest, 120 play points. That's good. That's a whole league entry. Honestly, I'd rather open play points than just jank commons and rares nobody cares about ooh imperial mask shield of caldra and a meek stone from kaladesh next chest we've got a nickel bolus god pharaoh thrash of raptors and woodland stream next chest <gasps> liliana of the veil vale. that's worth something next chest we've got a Guild Feud, Worship, and a Stronghold Confessor. All right. Well, Worship's played in some decks, so I'm not going to object to opening one. Yeah. Ink Moth Nexus. Next chest. We've got a... Kytheon, Hero of Acros, Goblin Wartrieve, and a Fathom Fleet. Next chest. 15 play points, a parallel lives, and stolen strategy. Crappy on. <laughs> it's true. He's a decent one drop. 20 play points, uh, Nargila the Blade Blossom. Next chest, we get a Field of Ruin, a Lava Spike, and a Wild Ceratok. Better as a one drop than a Planeswalker, that's true. All right, next chest, a Morphic Pool. Savage Summoning. I used to play that card in Standard. That was fun. And a random common. Next chest. Siege Gang Commander. Nature Spiral. And a Fungal Infection. Next chest. We have Day of Judgment. Corvath's Fury. And a Dark Blade Agent. Next chest. We've got <gasps> Collected Company. And a land grant. We're running up on our last 20 chests now. Inspiring Statuary and Stolen Strategy. Common shouldn't even be in these. Yeah, I know, right? Signal the Clans. Definitely going in Battle of Wits of Dudes, the deck. Uh, Stomping Ground. Original Guild Pact. That's cool. We got a, ooh, Horizon Canopy. That's worth a ton of tickets. Chest number 18. Well, from the end, anyway. Near-Death Experience. Hazda Marshall. And a Gaia's Protector. Next chest. We have a Stromkirk Condemned. Kind of a Vampire Lord. Murder. And a common nobody cares about. Next chest. Gale Rider Sliver, Rallying Roar, and Pounce. Next chest. Flicker Form. Oh, that, used to, that used to be really fun in Xur EDH. And by really fun, I mean only for me. 
Next chest. Agadim Occultist. Mm -hmm. Evacuation. Mm -hmm. And a Dead Eye Tormentor. Uh, Sig River Cutthroat, City Watch Sphinx, and a Kite Sail Corsair. Anger of the Gods, next chest. Magus of the Jar, Ixali's Diviner, and a Soul Salvage. All right, last 10 chests. Let's hope we get good stuff. Hostage Taker Promo Edition. Demon Fire. All right, last eight chests. 15 play points. And a Lore Weaver. Okay. Hostage Taker did not rotate out yet. Ixalan is still in. Time Reversal. <laughs> it's telling me I should play Time Warps. Disciple of the Ring. Solitary Confinement. Last five. 15 play points. Grave Titan. Next chest. We have Divination. Simeon Spirit Guide and Skeleton Archer. All right, last two. Mon and Drone and Shaman. Thought seas. We actually need some thought seas. That's great. All right, last chest. Everybody lend me your energy. Come on, 1,000 play points. Let's go. 20 play points. <laughs> it's only 980 less than 1,000. Mm 